across to our correspondent in Cape Town, Nadine Theron. Um, Nadine, what more can you tell us about this decision from the parole board and how people are reacting? Well, people in South Africa are certainly shocked about the reasons why Oscar was not released on parole. Um, at this morning, legal experts were speculating there's a 50-50% chance. Um, they were saying that the victim impact statement would play the biggest role. But at the end of the day, his parole was denied on a technicality. And it seems that there was a misunderstanding between the Department of Correctional Services and the Department of Justice, um, which was only clarified four days ago. So we've just received the communique that was sent from the Supreme Court of Appeal to the Department of Correctional Services um, on the 28th of March, where the Department of Justice said that Oscar's sentence was only effective from 24 November 2017. And that's why on this date today, he has not yet served more than half of his sentence, which would make him eligible for parole. So he has not served the minimum sentence required to even be eligible for parole. And all those legal experts are, I'm sure, very embarrassed at the moment. South Africans are are shocked about the reasons why and no one seemingly knew that this communique had been going on except a very few people and Oscar's lawyer Julia Knight has said that they will certainly take this on review. Well right so the fact that he's not even eligible for parole comes as a surprise how is his legal team preparing to move forward? Well, his legal team said they will take this on review. Um, this means they will likely launch an appeal to the decision. Um, it's likely that they will uh, argue that they were not aware of this communication between the two departments and therefore they could not prepare adequately for the hearing. Because now, according to the, the Justice Department, Oscar is only eligible for parole next year in August. But his legal experts are definitely going to um, argue against this. Okay, interesting legal twist there. Our correspondent in Cape Town, Nadine Theron. Nadine, thanks a lot.